So the rules for this challenge are on screen right now. Pause if you need to because I'll be looking at the notes and we're gonna switch back so that you can at least see. Again, I usually show that I'm on Sudden Death Harbinger random timeline, but sometimes it doesn't matter and it'll depend on updates as they change. But if you're watching this in the future future, um, then know that that's the reason why. So I have to be cult and there will be a version of this challenge that's available without any uh, custom modifications. It's just that this one is supposed to be meant for Shori by Rice. So Shori, I, I believe so. that's the name because it shows everywhere else. And by everywhere else, I mean the files. So uh, let's immediately equip these. And there are certain rules, not as many as the uh, generic version of this challenge, I'll say. But let's see what we've got. Strength, Dexterity, Knowledge, Takuchi-san, Second Mystery, Charisma. Dexterity before Strength, okay. I mean, I'm probably going to be building into Strength. But, uh, so, the way that Shori is balanced, if we are to go through, even though this is technically a challenge, because Stalker's also been changed, I don't know if it's bug, but I believe it's, it's working correctly, so every human character will be doing at least an extra point of damage. If not, well, we still have our goals in this challenge, and that'll be hard enough. Let's see what else we might want to do. So I might... Hardware Shop tends to favor strength weapons. Not saying that you can't find other weapons in uh, other locations. Dog Shop is usually dexterity. In my experience, for where, well, what I go to, and a cult shop is knowledge. But uh, for now, we're going to be taking... Uh, we're going to be taking the Hardware Shop in hopes that we get painting. But if not, we'll just take whatever strength weapon we can get. And put on this cool parka as we move on. Uh, let's do some... Okay, so we immediately got the Moriko Rumor. Mermaid's Ward, Vigil, Painting, Homa. So we do have Mermaids, so I don't need to re-roll. We also have Painting, so I can do that. Unfortunately, I have two... I have Ward and Vigil, so Coma is really the only thing I can... Only mystery I can use to prepare for... Uh, the chain... To, uh, any chainsaw play, basically. I don't want a Witch Tree, but I think I may have to... Uh, and so one little, not tip, but thing to note is that if you want to prepare for funds, you still have to, you have to pay the 5 Doom up front, uh, to get to start doing 2% Doom for free, whereas opposed to entering the doctor's office, if I'm thinking in my head, that's at least one funds for only 2% Doom, but I'm still going to do the prepare option to at least get a weapon. So, uh, yeah, maybe I'll make an edit there, but, uh, nonetheless... Because Witch Tree is nice because you don't have to spend Doom, but you are spending... Yeah, you are spending... Uh, you are risking on a curse. So one stack of Panic. It'll depend on what curses I get. I might use it twice and we get double Stalker. Cool, nice. Uh, which will be somewhat close to what I actually... Uh, to what the actual generic challenge, challenge will be, which will come out later. But for now, uh, we'll take the flashlight and we will hope we get fuel. So this is actually, well, I mean, it's close to the challenge uh, that I want to do if I were to have more control. However, uh, oh, you know what I could have done? Well, anywho, we're going to keep going. Uh, nothing much else to do. Actually, well, let's go to village. We might as well uh, get the dust of seeing. We have strength, which mattered that time. And yeah, I could have done more, but I didn't. So I'll just leave that as it is. Oh, I didn't prepare. Well... We're going to trade Reason because we know we're going to have a pretty painful um, Mad Janitor fight. Because that's the only way I can get ending A. Uh, in the meanwhile though, you know what? Let's... So we did a pretty much 22% Doom opener. But that's so that I can get a pack of cigarettes. So in uh, staying with my trend of uh, making pretty much every custom character a smoker, that's not... Lore, that's not some weird lore I have. That's just the strat that I prefer when I'm playing World of War. I, I eventually like to go for cigarettes. So yes, even though Vending Machine, uh, the Doom increased to 2% from 1%, um, it's mainly there to deter you from grinding for bricks on top of brick being nerfed. So yeah, that was a... Uh, that's the <laughs> vending machines had to get double nerfed, but it's still uh, it's still a very useful location for a guaranteed pack of cigarettes for uh, for Haru or any other character that might need it, or if you plan to do a cigarette play. Why did I take that? Why did I take that? Uh, why did I take that? Basically, yeah. Why did I take that? That's pretty much what I want to say. 
Uh, doesn't That doesn't really matter. I don't use the library. I don't know why it doesn't ban the schoolyard, but I, I mean, it kind of makes sense. Um, I'm not going to say anything more about it, because if I say anything about the balance or what intents might be, it might not be correct. So, we need to keep the fuel with us. We're going to keep the brick with us, and we're heading into painting to grab a chainsaw, which will also be affected by... I forgot what I was saying, because this is... I, I literally had to make a cut because of uh, things that happened. But... I, I never remember this. Will I need the dust of seeing anywhere? Well, let's find out. Okay, well, I mean, I'll need a slot for the chainsaw anyway, so I needed to store something. Unless I was planning to use cigarettes, which is another uh, option. And we get to it level up at least. I forgot to... I looked over, but again, I forgot what the perk packs were. You know what? Uh, we have Warden Vigil. If I actually run into the Moriko event, I'm going to be pretty sad. So I'm going to... I'm going to take running shoes and gamble that I won't run into the Moriko event right here. This is literally the last force investigation I have. Well, we ran into a cult member, and yeah, with two stacks of Stalker on top of it, though, too, that's... Oh, woohoo! That's spicy. Um, Do I have spiciness as well? Not really. And this is actually a fight that I... No, I can run from. Uh, hmm... Yeah, uh, if I had the chainsaw, I might have thrown the flashlight, but since I don't have the chainsaw, uh, we're gonna make use of running shoes. Which, I mean, if I were thinking up of an extreme version of these challenge, I would force the encounters, but, uh, since we're here, on the normal version of this challenge, then, uh, yeah, I'm not going to take that risk. Now I could have taken that fight, but it, it's too late. I didn't have the chainsaw, so that was just unlucky. Meanwhile, into the Puppet Matron we go, and yeah, we do have, uh... We do have Panic debuff on us, but we should be okay? I was about to say. I could have actually missed two, uh, two of those five attacks. That was really likely, but... I was willing to take the gamble. 47% Doom on my second mystery, by the way. Um, uh, As much as I would like Amy, uh, that would be more pain for me, so... Let's take this Ritual Mask and uh, move on. And we should be on... In, yeah, we should have been on uh, Location Lockout. That said, that Doom increase wasn't light, nice, but... Uh, I only have so much stamina and reason to give. And we, at least we have cultist, the cultist background to somewhat uh, fight against the doom, in, the high doom we have. But yeah, moving on. Since I don't plan to smoke cigarettes until the end here. Oh well, you know what? The funny thing is, I would have liked to take mermaids right now uh, to use the monument. But if we survive until mermaids, maybe we can see some monument use. Maybe. Meanwhile. Uh, we do the big gamble again. We need to hit three of these, so I actually have a good chance of hitting three of these. Ooh. <sighs> Would anyone like to explain? Uh, I'm not going to do that math here. I might as well just keep moving on. So, you know, there's only so much RNG I can take. So, you know. Moving on! Moving on. Uh, actually, let me do something really quick. Okay, yeah, that's... There we go. And we'll move on. Oh, I really didn't expect that, by the way. <laughs> you can't make this up. Uh, so we're going to do this vigil so that we don't get absolutely uh, oofed by the doom increases. It's been a long time since I failed the vigil from step one, so... Bye -bye, clap, clap. And really, the last time I did, I think it was a mistake on my part because I misclicked, but... Uh, yeah, for now, let's let's try to do the Vigil correctly. Because uh, the Stamina and Reason is nothing compared to the Doom that we have. We're actually kind of more in line with Doom, especially with that event. So, um, hopefully we keep moving on with moderate Doom increases here and there. I still expect a uh, guaranteed 4% Doom because I don't think I've run into that event yet. I'll remember that event's name at some point. I probably should make a note to do that now, but... Until then, uh, so again, I need, uh, you know what, I don't think I've missed two of these in a row yet, in terms of, like, taking big RNG risks, so let's find out. Alright, it's, it's been a long time, my friend, but it's, it's, it's happened to, 
if you're wondering why I don't take RNG, good RNG, quote-unquote, theoretical good RNG decisions, I would like to remind you in 0.9.9D, it's been a long time since it's happened, and that's because I don't often take those risks, but uh, I present to you Exhibit Oof, so... And uh, as I would like to remind you, none of these runs are... Uh, are a dig at any characters and how bad, good or bad they are, because I'm not saying anything like that. But what I will say, and I will keep reminding people, is that it's really my own strategies, and by strategies, sometimes it's just my luck that uh, causes these things. So, you know, the funny thing is, I think you can save the energy drink for the lighthouse, and that works, because technically, you're in a quote-unquote mystery. Obviously, those things wear off at the end or beginning of mysteries, but the point is that I can use the energy drink or take quick thinking here. Um, but I'm actually going to put a point into Strength and Dexter. I think I have both checks, and I also forgot what my second encounter was. Well, at least until maybe I get a... Well, basically, I'm going to try to interpret it when I get there. But, as we are in Light... Uh, not Lighthouse. Ward. What do I want to take with me? If I had Blood Moon, I might have taken Dust of Seeing. I know there are... Not a high power encounter, but uh, there... Enemy, there's an enemy with power that I'm forgetting about. I don't know which one it is in the hospital location that I don't want to run into among downtown encounters that Ward also forces you into. But uh, let's now take the meat cleaver out. And we are healthy stamina reason-wise. Right now, uh, if I'm to look at my current lo uh, situation, I would be worrying about my doom. If I, I mean, or uh, if I were, say... Uh, watching someone play this run as I am right now, I would be worried about Doom. I'm kind of worried about stamina, but especially with the Mad Janitor at the end. Uh, also noting to myself, I have to run to Stalker Girl, so yeah. Um, thankfully, vampires don't count as humans, so I can try to do this. You know what? I I'm just curious. And to remind myself that the prep or attack boost as well, uh, carries over to the next turn, if there were your last options. Uh, so we did lose reason. Um, I could choose to rest, which would be an efficient stamina reason recovery. And now it's really good stamina reason recovery. I, that could have been bad because, well, not, I just forced myself into here. No, I needed to take the package out. Well, shoot. Actually, well, shoot. Uh... Would it? Well, I don't need the flashlight on me, so I'm gonna take the no, take the package out, just to see. And uh, let's make sure. I don't, I don't think mermaids ever visits the hospital, so we can set the trash can on fire once. And uh, yeah, I didn't give the package to them, unfortunately. So whoops. We'll actually take a nap here. Alright, well, I don't think this matters anymore because I already missed my chance. I don't have anything I could throw, though. Well, aside from the flashlight, so you know what? Uh, moving on. That would have been 4% Doom in an older iteration. I'm also about to reach 85% Doom, but if I use the Monument, technically that lowers me, so... Uh, yeah, this is a really oof, um, ward. Well, run in general, but minus seven all. I mean, not that minus seven reason, whatever. Whatever the case, whatever it would have been with the package, um, would have been, it wouldn't have been, uh, great anyway. Yes, I know I have a janitor encounter, but I think I would rather do this. And, you know, uh, 75%? Let's go. Let's go. Come on, RNG. Good. Uh, still didn't, doesn't mitigate the bad, bad RNG double play that I tried to do, but... And yeah, we now have Hard Knock, so... Let's actually heal Stamina, because uh, this is going to hurt a lot. And then I will um, try to use the Monument. That also means I need to run to Stalker Girl, but we can at least use Monument. So one fun, two reason, I'll use it three times, and one funds, which I don't have, uh, but I could sell the, I could sell the mask. One more time, why not? <sighs> okay, well actually that would have been very nice, but um, I would have been at a net doom loss anyway, so 
Uh, I guess into this we go. Energy drink, curious statuette, actually dust of seeing over energy drink. And we're gonna be basically spending a bunch of doom trying to run to the stalker girl. So let's find out until we get to 85% doom at which we will shoot to go to our main investigations. We do get the stalker mask, which I will equip promptly, but uh, so the reason why, if you're wondering why, as I kind of autopilot through this next, these next investigations, uh, the reason why I set it to 85% doom before I uh, ignore things like that is because mo since most mysteries are 7%-ish doom, or you have chances to lower doom, then I, I, I allow, I kind of give put some math in. So at 85% doom, say you do seven investigations, one of them may have in increased doom by two. So therefore, your doom will be at around 94% at the end of the mystery, which still allows you to maybe ascend the lighthouse safely. Um, that said, obviously that's usually that's sometimes not the case, but it's it's some it's it's an it's a pretty good leeway. Uh, it's pretty good leeway uh, as opposed to 80% doom, which I thought was a bit too much doom. But 80% is also a fair one, and I think I've used it in some challenges as well. It's just that this one I'm a bit harder on myself, so I decided to say 85% doom. That said, um, yeah, the running into encounters now was not is, is something I don't want to do. But hey, we're here now, so. And I think if we don't have the sixth floor, we should be okay because we're on cultist. But we'll find out promptly. So, and that's yes, that's a max threat level uh, school location. So, we actually need to pass this. We didn't pass that. I think that lower. No, 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 no. That was a. That was a different one. We can't notice face because we need to get ending A regardless, but... Oh, I didn't smoke cigarettes. Gosh dang it. Well, we'll smoke them now as much as that matters, but... Um, oops. See, doopsie. I was a bit out of my mind. That said, we have a bunch of stuff to throw, so... Uh, and we at least get plus one damage, so this is a pretty close fair fight. Uh, unfortunately... Well, actually, is it? 642, right? I think this kills. Let's find out. Good. Uh, so we're at 94% doom, and as long as it's not Heart of Darkness, which it's not, we have a chance to survive. And we don't have Branded either. On my own way. Uh, let's actually raise Knowledge then, if that's the case. And let's increase Stamina. So as long as I don't fail any doom checks, I should survive no matter what. I forgot my second encounter. Uh, <laughs> Uh, this could be the most unfortunate human error run, um, or at least one I'll remember, because I definitely die if I don't remember my second miss, uh, second encounter. I can kind of, I can maybe try to use, uh, and I actually pass all of these, so, and Takashi-san just absolute, gets absolutely demolished here. So, I can even throw the flashlight, I didn't even have the light check, I forgot about that as well. I mean, I have the victory in my heart, but in real life. So, um. Oh, the, uh, there's Cult Memory and Cultist Hunter. I want to say it was the Puppet Matron, because I thought I skipped out on a Cult Hunter. Uh, I did not. I know I didn't want to fight a Cult. Cultist Hunter. Were, was, were they the first encounter I ran into? No, that was in painting, right? That was in, I know that was in painting because I had running shoes and I ran. Um, cult member, when did I run into cult member? What was my, I, I forgot my first mystery. The game is infecting me. I actually need to think here because this is the difference between living and dying. Um, I'll give myself 20, 30 seconds max, 30 seconds max to think about this. Um, you're, you're probably yelling at me right now as you're there in the back seat, but... And I don't mean that in a negative connotation. Man eating plant. I thought I. Because uh... I didn't use the baseball bat to defeat any enemies. What was my first. My first mystery was. It was the town mystery, of course, because I had to prepare for painting. Did I run into any encounters in that mystery? Why can't I. I don't even remember my first mystery. Painting's easy, because I always take painting sacking for for chainsaw plays. Uh, wow, I don't remember my first mystery e either. I know it was a town mystery. That's what I know, obviously. You know that, too. Uh, or you know I know that, too.
If it wasn't Cultist Hunter, it had to be Puppet Matron. That I know that's I know the order was Cultist Hunter to Puppet Matron because I know I didn't want to I didn't want to fight and I just got running shoes. How did I level up so fast then? Alright, uh Well it was one of these two. If I if I assume that Cultist Hunter was my first one, otherwise it would be Puppet Matron. Which I wanna say it was. Yo, good. Woo! Hey, even though with all my, my big Doom opener, we survive. So we take those wins. If you want to support me long term, one more time, subscribe to this channel. Otherwise, if you have suggestions, which is the more relevant thing to say for you, the viewer, uh, comment, sec comment in the comment section down below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. The next video coming out today should be the I Will Follow You generic version. Thank you for watching.